Okay, so today I give a presentation on the reading motivation for first year university students at the University of Science and Technology. Uh, and my reading motivation study looked at um, whether or not our students actually do read beyond their academic texts and what are the different types of motivations that they have to read. And so I was able to find that some positive news that actually our students do read, um, but they actually read a little bit less academically than we would maybe like, and they're really liking to do things like reading online, unfortunately. Um, uh, I plan to do further research um, in um, expanding my research beyond the um, accelerated stream that I had looked at. I think that I can begin to apply these ideas in my own teaching by one of the, one of the results that I found was that te the students really like to have the ownership of their reading in terms of the topics and choosing the topics themselves. So I'll maybe start to allow the students to choose within a broader scale or a broader range of topics, maybe allowing them to choose what they want to focus on. Um, and I'll begin to incorporate more of a choice for my students and allowing them to choose the topics that they can um, perhaps write for their um, academic papers and for their academic presentations because choice was a big uh, motivation for them in terms of their, their reading. So I feel very positively about this uh, symposium. I think it's great to hear what's happening in the different centers for language, edu language education. Um, all the different centers, I think, are we all get caught up in our own little worlds within the semester, so it's, I think, a good idea for us to be sharing across universities and across centers. Um, I feel that the idea itself will maybe create more collaboration across centers and allow me to maybe expand and, uh, and other course design teams to expand what we offer to our students. Maybe we can grow as, as centers and also as teachers in this way. <laughs> 